Hello, my name's Ugly, and I'll be teaching you how to make your first plugin with um, Eclipse 4 Minecraft using HMOD. I hope I got that all put together right in that order. Yeah? Okay, let's get started. Um, first, I'd like to say, though, before we get started, I'm not going to be teaching you Java, uh, and that's about it. I'm going to teach you how to uh set up your workspace and how to um utilize the tools and knowledge that there is out there to make plugins for HMOD but if you really want to make plugins and you do not know how to do Java or any other language out there then I highly suggest you learn something now me I'm not I'm not the best professional Java programmer I can't say I've programmed Java, Java for years if anything, I've only programmed Java for about a month, but I have been programming in other languages for at least nine years. I know I've I've programmed PHP for nine years. Uh, I've programmed Visual Basic for maybe four, three, four, I believe. Um, same same amount for C, uh, C sharp, and. I think I'm missing some. Uh, I wouldn't call Ajax and stuff programming, really. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Um, and even though I didn't know Java, I was able to get it right away because I knew how to program from all those other languages. Um, and if you know the syntax and if you know uh, how to issue a a simple variable or something like that or if else's they're basically the same for each program I mean for each language uh, until you get it right and then you just google how to do stuff like if you know okay how do I do a loop in Java and you, there's examples and stuff so you know I don't want to teach you Java but I do want to teach you how to utilize your tools and knowledge in this so I hope I can help you Okay, so first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to make the project in Eclipse. These are some of my past plugins. Um, so we're going to go to New. No, I'm sorry. We're going to click File, New up here. Click Java Project. And you want to name the project um, what you want your plugin to be. So for this example, we will uh, name it Test Plugin. Okay. And it shows up right here. So what we're going to do is the first thing you need to do is you need to go to properties and you want to go down to Java build path and you want to add external jars. I clicked add external jars button and you want to find the latest Minecraft mod.jar from HMOD and the latest Minecraft server.jar from Minecraft's website then press OK and it'll show up right here and then you can press OK again now that you have that set up let's create our two class files you want to create a listener in the main file so let's go to new let's click you have to click the project open and then on source right click and then click new class and let's name this let's name this TP listen for the listener and then let's make a new one named the same thing as our project file, our project name, and the same thing as our plugin name. So what's the plugin name going to be? It's going to be called Test Plugin. So let's name it Test Plugin. Okay. Now there's many um, default templates out there to start with. I have one right here that I will gladly put in Pastebin and then provide provide it. So here it is. Just look anywhere around this video, you know, description, anywhere, and you will find a pastebin link to this code, which is the default for the uh, the main part, not the listener. So here it is. You just paste this. And for plugin name, just highlight plugin name, do control F, and it'll show up here, and then do replace with whatever your plugin name is. So test plugin, replace all. Okay, and now for plugin listener, 
you want to right uh, do the same thing control F and it will show up here and you want to go replace with uh, TP listen which is our uh, plugin name over here okay so that works you can do save and then over here oops where are we getting an error okay we're getting an error here because we need to save the listener first okay so this is the listener uh, this is the listener file this is our main file that we will be working with um, you want to do right here um, extends plugin listener okay and that's how it looks and as you can see there's no more errors so let's get started um, I'm not going to be telling you uh, every single hook and stuff but I will tell you how to get it um, you go to heyo.net h-e-o h-e-y-o dot net well zero I'm sorry h-e-y zero dot net slash java doc and you just go to slash java doc, eh, java doc and it'll take you this and then you go down on the frames and you click plug in listener and these are the listeners basically the hooks to events that happen in game like on block destroy on ban on block break and these are <coughs> excuse me these hooks happen right before the actual ha actual thing happens uh... takes place so you can stop it from happening so on block create is deprecated so we can't use that so let's see on block place if we return this as false because i mean if we return this as true as boolean without creating the item it will not create just letting you know that now because returning true on a boolean um without okay so if we return true on a command that's okay because the command doesn't really have an effect like creating a block but if we turn true on on block place and we have code and we do return true then the block itself will not create it create because we are returning true right then if you get what I mean um there's a lot of more more stuff but what we're gonna do basically right now is just a simple hello world for let's see um trying to find a good one right now let's do a good hello world for on command let's do on command okay so on command you see this just basically copy copy what you see as you can tell it's a boolean so what we do is we copy this we go here and then we issue a public one so we go inside this code um, we do public boolean and we paste that and then 